My family, Prince Harry has revealed why he does not bring Meghan to the UK. And my family, when you hear his words, you are going to feel sad. Just like I felt when I heard Prince Harry explain just why he won't bring Meghan to the UK. My family, please kindly hear this. Harry's very own words in my family ITV documentary, Tabloids on Trial, where Harry was being interviewed by ITV's reporter, Rebecca Barry. My family, please kindly hear this. Please, my family. Question whether there's an element of payback here too? No, I think... I think... I, I know that it is clear now to everybody that the risk of taking on the press and the, the risk of such retaliation from them by taking these claims forward is clearly not in my interest to do that. Look at what has happened in the last four years to me, my wife and my family, right? So that was a very hard decision for me to make, which is how, how bad is it going to get? Some people would say that, that, you know, you're taking on these these high-profile battles, but that actually attracts more attention onto you. There is more than enough attention on me and my wife anyway. There was, they pushed me too far. It got to a point where you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But I don't think there's anybody else in the world that is better suited and placed to be able to see this through than myself. It's still dangerous. My family, let me kindly pause there. Before we get to what he said or explain why he won't bring Megan to the UK. My family, Prince Harry has spoken candidly. On my family, even the retaliation that he has received from the UK media after he sued them. And my family, clearly, we all can see. It is dangerous to take on the British tabloid media. But as you've heard straight from Prince Harry, he had no choice. Exactly what Harry told ITV's Tom Bradby when he was promoting Spare. He told him that I had no intentions of pursuing these legal cases against the UK tabloid media. However, he was pushed. They pushed him and he reached his limit. Because even when Harry and Meghan are quiet, even after Harry and Meghan have stepped back as, a, as senior members of the royal family, the attacks have never, ever stopped. You know, Barry Rebecca, who was interviewing Prince Harry, asked Harry, don't you think that by doing this, it's attracting more attention to you? And my family, Harry told her, Harry said these words, there is already much attention on my wife and me, already. Already. And it's true. It's, it's very, very true. Very, very true. My family, when Harry and Meghan aren't seen, even for a month, even just one month publicly, doing any engagements or doing something, the tabloids are the first ones to come up with divorce rumors to try and lure Harry and Meghan to come out and make an appearance to perform for them. It's what the UK media do oftenly. Because clearly they have seen that the royals that they have in the UK do not sell papers. Only Harry and Meghan do. Only Harry and Meghan do. And UK media refuse to accept that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. Refuse to make deals with the racist, toxic, British tabloid media. And my family, there are so many who would like to say, oh, you know what? But why did Harry do the Oprah interview? Why did Harry do Spare? You know, it's like people forget 
that before we even saw the Oprah interview, my family, there was something going on before the Oprah interview. And what was going on? Megan was being bullied 24 hours a day, seven days of the week by the British media, even when she wasn't being seen. I mean, what does Harry have to do? What did Harry do? Harry did what any man, any husband should do. Protect his family, protect his wife, protect his children. My family. And my family, there are these accusations. But you know what, Harry? You are bringing much attention to yourself because of these cases. My family, I want to tell the people who say that. Even if Harry and Meghan aren't seen, just as Harry has said himself, Harry has said there is already much attention on him and Meghan, regardless of my family, whatever. And it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. We've all seen and I've talked about this. Even if Harry and Meghan aren't seen, UK media will create and my family a graph asking, when Megan was last seen. Remember, this is a person that they've been bullying for years now. Remember, this is a person that they bullied so much to the point that she thought of taking on life. This is a person who had to flee the UK for her safety. And even right now, refuses to come over to the UK because it's unsafe for her. Because of the hateful rhetoric towards her from the media and from the farm. You know? The only time Megan sets foot in the UK is when she is taking a connecting flight to another, to another country, to a different place. That's what UK media have done to Megan. They have made it unsafe for Megan to travel to the UK alongside Prince Harry. My goodness! UK media even have an issue with Harry and Meghan holding hands. Just holding hands. They have an issue with a husband holding his wife's hand. They have an issue with a wife holding a husband's hand. They have an issue with that. I even remember when Meghan was back in the UK. And it was during the morning period after the Queen passed away. UK media had an issue with Megan comforting her husband. There's an issue with that. There's an issue, a problem with that. You know? And my family, they had no issue with Zara, Anne's uh, daughter, and Mike, her husband, holding hands. There's an issue with Megan, Harry's bi-racial wife, holding her husband's hand. Because UK media can't stand seeing them together. They can't stand that no matter what they've done to them, Harry and Meghan are still together. You know? So my family, before the Oprah interview, and you know what, I'll explain this further in a different video. Before the Oprah interview, my family, much happened. Much happened. Harry and Meghan were not able to even defend themselves from lies that were told about them by the UK tabloid press, and by senior members of the royal family. Remember the lie that Megan had made Kate cry. Well, you know what? That lie, my family, will remain uncorrected for many years until the Oprah interview. Whereby Megan was attacked and bullied by racists online based on a lie that was told about her by Kate and Camilla Tomene is a liar, the biggest liar in the planet you know and Megan had to take it however she could not defend herself she couldn't say anything my family and now that Megan is able to defend herself someone takes issue with that the bullies take issue with that that she's able to defend herself from the lies that they tell about her my family we've all seen the own two eyes there are moments whereby Harry and Meghan are not seen publicly for weeks or even months. They're busy working. They're busy filming. 
My family content, co content for Netflix, they're busy with their work, their projects. Harry's busy with his job, a better up. There are moments they are not seen for months. But yet every single day in the UK, Talk TV, TV News will have segments thrashing and attacking Harry and Meghan, even when they are not seen. So when someone tells you, oh, but Harry, but Harry, you know, these cases are bringing attention onto you. Harry says the truth. He says already there's much attention on me and my wife anyway. You know, anyway. And he is right. And he is right. Why would anybody ask the UK tabloids to just leave Harry, leave Meghan, leave their children alone? You know? And focus on their taxpayer-funded royals that they claim to love, support so much. Focus on William, Kate, Charles, Camilla, their kids. Focus on them, but leave Harry and Meghan alone, which is something that the UK media have been unable to do. My goodness, they have to reach out to Thomas Markle. They have to reach out to Thomas Markle, pay him some money, and get him to say negative things about Meghan. Meghan, who has never uttered a word about the royal family for like more than a year now. She has moved on, and UK media have an issue with that. They still won't stop going after her. But then they wonder, they wonder, why, why won't Meghan come to the UK? Why won't she come over to the UK? Why, 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 why? Why are you wondering? Hear exactly what Harry has said himself. Of what he fears so much happening to his family. His family, to Megan, to Archie, to Lilibet. My family, can you please hear this yourself? And all it takes is one lone actor, one person. Oh, my family, let me just rewind this. And myself. It's still dangerous. And all it takes is one lone actor, one person reads this stuff to act on what they have read yes and whether it's a knife or acid whatever it is and these are things that are genuine concern for me it's one of the reasons why i won't bring my wife back to this country my family it is so sad when you hear that it is so sad when you hear harry saying that my thing is you understand him you understand why he's said what he has said. You understand him? My family. He said all it takes is one lone actor. One person. Not two people. One person. That person who reads and believes everything he is told by Daily Mail. That person who is lied to. Who is being told that Harry and Meghan are to destroy the royal family. That person. It takes that, that one person. That one lone actor who believes the lies that have been fed to them by the UK media and by senior members of the royal family. That one person who believed the lie that Meghan had made the future Queen of England cry. That person. Now, my family, that person is the issue. That person is the big, big issue, my family. And Harry has said, and I quote his words, my family, that you've heard yourself. All it takes is one lone actor. Whether it's a knife or acid, whatever it is. My family, and that's one of the reasons as to why Prince Harry will not bring his wife to the UK. As Harry has said, it is one of the reasons why he won't bring his wife back to this country, back to Britain. My family, straight from Harry's very own lips. And my family, I feel sad. I feel sad whenever I, I hear Harry saying that. But I understand him. I feel sad for Megan. I feel sad for him. I feel sad for Archie and Lilibet. Who need their mother in their lives? I feel sad for what 
Megan has had to deal with all these years, all because she fell in love with a white prince while being a woman of color. I feel so sad for Megan for what she's had to deal with all of these years. It, it can't be easy. It is not easy. My family, we do know for a fact that threats have been made on towards Harry Megan's son Archie. We know that because even Harry and Meghan covered it in the Harry and Meghan documentary. And still someone tells you, you know, no, why does Prince Harry fight so hard for security? Someone still asks that dumb question. Yet they know that some people have been jailed for my family threats towards Prince Harry himself. Threats towards Meghan. And sadly, these threats are real. All it takes is one person, Harry, I say, not two people, one person, that lone actor who has believed the lies that they've been fed to, that have been fed to them by UK media and by senior members of the royal family, Prince William, Kate, Tell, and Camilla. And Harry has shown himself to be a man who will do everything to protect his family. You know? My family, Harry and Meghan, have never ever wanted to destroy the royal family. All they wanted is to love each other in peace. All they've wanted is to raise their kids in peace. But sadly, jealousy among senior members of the royal family who are full of envy towards Harry and Meghan's tapa, who are full of envy because they see the love that Harry and Meghan have for each other, which they don't have in their own marriages, like how William and Kate Moulton clearly are living separate lives, who clearly don't love each other. William cannot stand his wife. And that's why when Harry said that, you know what, royals don't marry for love. He's the one who married for love. You can media, even though Harry never ever mentioned William's name. Immediately they said Harry's dig at Wills and Kate Moulton. Even though Harry never ever mentioned William or Kate's name in the Harry and Meghan documentary. Because they know what is going on. And here you are, you have Kate Moulton, who is seeing the lengths that Kate, that, sorry, that Meghan and Prince Harry have gone to, to love each other, to support each other. Kate doesn't have that in her life. Kate looks at Prince Harry and sees how much he loves Meghan. She's full of envy because of that, because of what she sees. You know? And she's angry at Meghan because she's full of jealousy because of what she has. And of course, if you're Kate Moulton, you want Meghan to be as miserable as you are. I can promise you one thing, that most of the people who have hate accounts targeting Megan are people who live extremely miserable and happy lives. You have seen how some individuals close online, even UK media themselves, have been complaining about Harry and Meghan holding hands. Do you know how miserable you must be in your life to complain that a husband is holding his wife's hand? To complain that a wife is holding a husband. Do you know how miserable you must be? Because if you are happy in your life, if you are happy in your love life, that's if you have one, I highly doubt you know, anyone who complains about her making holding hands have you know, a love life. If you are happy in your life, you will not have an issue with her and Megan holding hands. You would not have an issue with Prince Harry stepping back as a senior member of the royal family to protect his wife and son from the racist UK tabloid media. You would not have an issue with that. You would not take issue with that. For my family, we have seen carnival of so-called experts being like, Megan, Megan, don't make Harry choose between you and us. In fact, there's an article online, online, that says that, that says that. Megan 
Don't make Harry choose between you and us. A Karen, a carnival of so-called expert thought for a second that Prince Harry would prioritize them, people who abuse his wife, over his own wife. And that's why I keep saying this. The people who attack Meghan are people who live miserable and happy lives. And they want others to be equally as miserable as they are. Because Harry Meghan fled the UK, for example, my family. Like what happened to Harry Meghan? They fled the UK. And Prince Harry has gone to live in California, in Montecito. And he now lives there with Meghan, Archie, and Lily Pedana. And clearly, UK tablets have sent this message that clearly they will not let Harry and Meghan have any kind of peace in their lives. And how have UK media sent that message? My family, they send that message by clearly, my family, first of all, you know, turning their attention away from the taxpayer-funded roles that they pay for, William, Kate, Charles, Camilla, and focusing on Harry and Meghan, who don't live in the UK anymore, who are not funded by the taxpayer. By attacking Harry and Meghan constantly, UK media have shown that my family, they refuse to let Harry and Meghan have any kind of peace. Live in peace. My family, Meghan, was seen having a good time with a friend. You know, in uh, California, my family, you know, she was seen with uh, Kimberly Williams Paisley, my family, an actress. And my family, apparently, Daily Mail paid for this picture. That's what I am learning. They paid for this picture from paparazzi. And then Megan was out and about on Sunday, right? And on Monday, it was George's birthday, William Sun's birthday. Now, Daily Mail held on to this photo. They held on onto this photo for my family 24 hours to release it around the time whereby it is George's birthday to accuse Megan of somehow attention seeking, of, of going out <laughs> of her home to live her life like she's supposed to, my family, and then get bapped. When she's my family just living her life in California, which is inevitable. When Megan or Harry goes out, my family, they run the risk of someone taking out the phone and taking a picture. My family is like that. Harry and Megan are famous people. That doesn't mean that they should live like hermits. But with the way Daily Mail conducts itself, it's like they're somehow trying to force Harry and Megan to live like hermits. And my family, that is totally unacceptable and that should not and cannot happen. Harry and Meghan are free people and they are free to live how they want to live because they are free. Harry and Meghan are free. And UK media may not like it, they don't like it, but they are free. And it is high time these people respect the fact that Harry and Meghan are free. And Daily Mail published the picture the next day. Although my family, uh, a member of the squad, had gotten that picture of Megan and then posted it on my family their Instagram account before Daily Mail even posted it, you know, on their online um, website. And my family, Daily Mail, got the person who had posted the picture of Megan. They had gotten their account on Instagram locked. My family, you know, they had gotten their account on Instagram, you know, locked because Daily Mail had an my family had paid for that picture from uh, paparazzi and then someone just posted that picture before Daily Mail posted it on their online, my family website. And as you can see clearly, Daily Mail wants to be able to exploit Megan, to make money off of her image, off of her, you know? And my family, it is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. But they also want Megan to somehow be scared of being seen out and about living her life. Because clearly, it's like they want to force Megan to live like a hermit. And even when Megan isn't seen, they have an issue with that. So for my family, when you see Harry fighting, as you've heard Harry even say, as you've heard even Harry say, 
clearly he has been pushed to his limit. He has reached his limits, my family, with the UK media. But sadly, it is not just the UK media. You know, we, we talk about the UK media so, so much. It is not just the UK media. My family, we have learned from the Byline Times exclusive that senior members of the royal family have signed off on a press assault of Harry Meghan by the UK media. They have given UK media their full consent for them to take on and go after Harry Meghan. And sadly, those attacks continue to this day. So my family, they have pushed Harry to the limit. And now UK media are asking for his kids. Now they're demanding to be given access to his kids now. So, so, so my family, you know, honestly, even you, Harry's family is Megan actually Lipetana. And all he's ever tried to do and keeps trying to do is protect his family because Harry is consistent. One thing I love so much about Prince Harry is that even years ago, he said, now I have my own family family to protect. I'll protect my family. Back when it was, it was him, Megan and Archie. He said, now I have my own family. I'll protect my family. And to this day, my family, Harry has remained consistent in that quest, in that goal. In court, you hear the same language. I refuse to put my wife in danger. I cannot bring Megan, Archie, Lilibet to the UK without adequate, effective security that is armed. Harry's own words. Harry's own words. He is consistent of the lengths he is willing to go to protect his family. So my family, UK media must stop asking, will Megan come to the UK? Will she be there with Prince Harry? If Harry is unable to get security for Megan, Archie, Lilibet. There is no way Megan or Archie or Lilibet will ever set foot in the UK. Prince Harry has made that extremely very, very clear. Harry has made that extremely very, very clear. You know, Megan, stay strong. Please stay strong. I know. It must not be easy. It must not be, be easy. You know, I'm a fan of Megan. I love Megan so much. I support them so much. And if it affects me to see how they've been targeted so much by the UK media, how, how my family, Megan, Archie, Lady Bird, their lives have been endangered because of the hateful rhetoric of the UK media, which is normally extremely racist towards them. My family... If it has affected me, just imagine what is done to Prince Harry and Meghan. To the point that Prince Harry even says this, they have pushed me to my limit. And indeed, that's what they've done. So if there's anybody to blame about the court case that Harry has filed against the UK media, it is the UK media's fault. They've been asking for it. They've been calling for it. You know, because I know that they want to force access to Harry and Meghan and their kids. But they're never going to get it. Never. You know, normally, when a carnival of so-called experts attacks you, a member of the royal family, you know, invites them for dinner or for lunch, wines and dines with them. In exchange, they get good press. You know? But Harry and Meghan, they don't roll like that. With Harry and Meghan, abuse has my family ensured that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with the abusers. They refuse to whine and dine with them at all. That's Harry and Meghan's reaction to being bullied and abused. They are not invited carnival of so-called experts into their home to have dinner with them, to whine and dine with them. That's not how Harry and Meghan roll. Which is something that UK media refuse to understand or grasp. So whenever they, they attack Harry and Meghan, hoping that somehow Harry and Meghan will give them access to them with Harry and Meghan, that doesn't work. It's never worked for eight years. It won't start working right now. 
Social media must stop their attacks on Harry and Meghan. Must leave Harry and Meghan's kids alone. Otherwise, you cannot complain when Harry sues you. You cannot complain when Harry seeks justice. You cannot complain when Harry is fighting for security to protect his family. Harry refuses to lose another woman in his life. Like he lost his mother. He will not lose his wife. He will not lose his kids. And don't forget, UK media have been somehow calling for Prince Harry to abandon Meghan, Archie, Lilibet and come back to the UK. Harry is not that person. He will never ever abandon his wife and kids. So UK media should forget it. Even if they keep calling for it to happen, Harry will never abandon his wife and kids. Not for Charles or for William or for Kate or for Camilla or for the UK WWE media or for the Karens who somehow thought that if Prince Harry never ever fell in love with Meghan that somehow they had a chance. Harry will never ever abandon his wife and kids for anybody else. He loves his family and he'll protect them and that is what he shows consistently. Harry, please, keep on being a good man. Keep on being a good man. Keep on being a good, good father to Archie a little bit and a good husband to Megan, Harry. You are a good man. My family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have uh, just discussed. You know, my family, I want to hear your opinion, you know, about what we have just discussed. Let me read you some comments also from the squad online, my family. Now, someone said that Harry is so right. It is dangerous in the UK. I even have my concerns for him when he travels there. I agree with Prince Harry. It is extremely dangerous in the UK. Protect your wife and children. Good for you, Prince Harry. Keep her away from this, you know, toxic people. My family. You know? Who would blame Prince Harry after everything the tabloids and Rorota continued to write about him. It's sad that his dad is a king and can't do anything to stop all this because he has sold his soul to the tablets just to protect his crown. My family also. How can the UK media claim that Charles cares for Harry? That he cares for Megan? Or so not for Megan, for Archie Little Bedana, like they always do. When Charles has never issued even a statement to condemn racism towards Megan, towards Archie, or towards Libertana. How can they claim it? You know, how? Charles clearly doesn't care about Harry or Megan or Archie or Libert. He only cares about himself. And it's sad what he has done to Prince Harry. Sad. You know? Go Harry. The world is behind you and Megan. It's so sad that Charles and William have made a deal with the devil, the UK tabloid media. You know? My family. You know? And one day, UK media will turn on the royal family. One day. The royal, Charles has the power to tell UK media to back off Harry Megan. He has the power to do it. And they refused to protect Megan. Charles has the power to get UK media to back off Harry Meghan. But he has refused to use his power to command UK media to stop their attacks on Harry Meghan. He has refused to do that. Meaning he consents to every attack towards Harry Meghan by the UK media. And my family, don't forget this. Just a few days ago, carnival of so-called expert Kate Manz revealed that indeed the attacks on Prince Harry and Meghan come from the Windsors. When Harry is receiving an award and you see him being attacked for it by the Wikimedia, remember they have been ordered to do it by the royal family, who clearly also are full of envy, who can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan thriving in the United States of America. They just want to see Harry and Meghan groveling, begging. We're having no money. My family, they will never ever Mr. Harry Meghan and Harry Meghan are never ever going to fail. Harry Meghan will keep on thriving. And my family, 
No weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lily Bedana will ever prosper. My family, please kindly stay tuned to the next video. Love you also forever and may God bless each and every single one of you. And may no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana, Diana, ever prosper. Stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever and may God bless each and every single one of you. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoy this video and learn a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.